Alright y'all, it's She Glow. We come here at Glow Baby and that is on period. I'm about to tell you guys about the time that I tased a guy at the club. <laughs> I am not going to tell y'all what club I was at or any of that because the people that was there know exactly who this is. They know what the situation is about. And I ain't got time because he might remember me and he might be like, bitch, I'm getting you. I'm coming back for your ass. It was a Thursday night and I was at this place. Anybody that's from Shreveport already know what I'm talking about, so I don't even have to say it. But, um, so you know, I was on the with my friend. She was like, oh, bitch, we going out. We gonna get cute. I was like, oh, yes, bitch. I'm trying to be a bad bitch, you know. I had my wig on. I had on my good wig, girl. I had, girl, I had on my long hair. I remember, okay? I had on my long hair. I had on my six inch pumps, honey. I had on like a tube dress. Cause let me tell y'all something. Okay, so like I'm 5'8 and a half. Yes, bitch, the half. And like, I, it was like a hat. It was like this and then it came like down, but not past my uh, knees. You know, cause I like my legs to be out. But like the side had a split, bitch, the splits. The side had that split out, girl. You know, and then the booty be poked. The booty was poking. So I was that bitch. Couldn't all tell me nothing. Couldn't all tell me that bitch. I had on a choker. Baby, I was too cute. I was too. I had that part down the middle, honey. I had on. Not they they big like this. Like I love big hoops. Um, y'all not gonna see me wear them a lot because like they do wear on my ears and they so big. But if I'm going out, I'm gonna wear them. I don't care. So I had on some big hoops. You know, my friend came. She was like, I'm gonna come pick you up. We're gonna go to the club. Let's go to the club. So we at the club dancing having a good time had a few drinks and so y'all i'm in the club and this man come over i mean bro was just hot bitch oh his bro was so hot he was like hey how you doing how you doing now? older man too i'm so sick of y'all he wasn't he wasn't like he had to be in his like late 30s early 40s like they be trying to sugar daddy me and i don't mind it just without the sugar. Like, I'm not giving you no cat. Like, if you want to break a bag off on a whole cool, but I'm not, that's as far as it's gonna go, sir. Like, it's not going anywhere else. He brought his hot breath ass over there. It was in my face. And I was like, what you want? He was like, I just think you're so beautiful, shit. Like, I'm just trying to watch you. I'm just like, oh, I'm good on you. Mm -mm. And so, I want y'all to remember this same man with the hot breath. We're going to call that nigga hot breath. Remember this. Okay. So he ended up getting out of my face. Cool. So we having a good time. We had a few more drinks. So we not drunk, but we tipsy. So you know, at this point, honey, this is, um, bitch, I, when I come back, I need to be licking on some coochie. I need, to be getting, I need to be getting stabbed in my back. Okay. I'm from the South. So let me clear this up. When I say getting stabbed in my back, that don't mean literally, bitch. I wasn't trying to get stabbed for real. It means like I'm trying to, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it means I'm trying to get like um, penetrated. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm so ready, y'all. I'm so horny. I'm like, oh, this alcohol in my system. Somebody gonna be my victim, honey. That's where my mind was. Okay. So y'all know like when girls go out, you know, we gotta have on our heels, we gotta have what our purse with us. We, we just gotta have a whole shebang. Like for me, it, nails, toes, hair, makeup, a uh, purse, heels, that, that's me. So I had my little cute purse, but every time I go out, I always bring like some stuff with me and they don't check me cause I'm a lady, okay? Not in this place. You do have some places that'll check you, they not gonna let you come in there doing that. But this place, they didn't have that. And you know, I'm a lady, so they're not gonna check me. They be flirty or whatever. They be like, nah, shit, like, we gonna let her in. They didn't check my purse. They should have, but they didn't. Cause you know, I like to keep some stuff on me. Just in case the whole play with me. I stay strapped, believe that. And so, we were leaving the club and we was headed to the car and child, this is where the madness happens. We walk to the car, I hear this damn nigga voice. Y'all, y'all. It's almost two o'clock in the morning. We walk into the car. This nigga, y'all ain't behind us. So we kind of start speed walking. I got on heels, okay, y'all? I'm trying not to trip and fall. 
I'm like, why is this man behind us? Everybody else leaving the club too. So I don't think people thought too much about it. Cause you know, when everybody walks to their car, everybody leaving, well not everybody, but like, you know, people when the club about the clothes, people start just leaving. Um, you had some people still in there, but a lot of people were leaving us. And so we get to the car and y'all, I turn around, he in the door. In the door, bitch. He in the, he in the door. I ain't even gonna say the door, he's in the door. Sir, why you in my car? This, me, sir, why you in my car though? That was me, that was me. Sir, what, what you want? He like, yeah, man, don't, don't be like that. He had been drinking. His voice was already hoarse. But it's like, he, I, you can tell that nigga a smoker. Like, I'm surprised he ain't got no hole in his throat. But he was just like, yeah, man, don't be like that. Don't be like, man, you so motherfucking beautiful, dog. And I'm just like, sir, I'm going to ask you one more time to get away from this motherfucking car. I ain't going to say it but one time. I ain't going to say it but one motherfucking time. Sir, get away from my goddamn car. Get away from this motherfucking car. Get away from this motherfucking car. I'm not playing with you. Get away from the car. Can you not hear? Sir, please, move. So my friend, she like, get away from this motherfucking car. What the fuck is you doing? Like, she just going off, y'all. We both going off on this nigga. I tried to move the door. He takes my hand and like rubs my motherfucking hand. So I snatched my fucking hand back. I was like, this nigga tripping. I got something for your motherfucker. I happily went in my purse, my cute little purse, and I pulled out my motherfucking pink taser and I zapped that nigga. And when I zapped him between his legs, yes, that nigga fell down to his knees, bitch. Fell down, was shaking. I took my foot and kicked that nigga over, slammed the door and told that bitch to go. Go right now. She panicky. I'm laughing. She looking at me like I'm crazy. Bitch, what's wrong with you? Why you tasing me? Because she wouldn't move. If he wouldn't have moved, he wouldn't have to worry about getting tased. More of the motherfucking story. As a black, beautiful queen, if I tell your motherfucking ass to get out the motherfucking way and you don't listen, whatever happens after is on you. Because I ask very politely. Hey, sir, can you please move? And it turned from sir to nigga, get away from this motherfucking door. And yet you still felt the need to stay there. You was gonna do what the fuck you was gonna do. Two women, minding their business, just trying to go home, just trying to go. We'd had a good night at the club, and here your ass go, fucking it up. Cause you, like, listen, I don't know what man or or woman, cause some of y'all like that too. No means no. I don't know what's hard about to comprehend that for you. If someone tells you to move or they say no, that's what the fuck that means. Get the fuck out the way. Cause I'm gonna tell you something, you fuck with me, it'll be a regret for your motherfucking ass. I tell you that much, I don't tell you nothing else. <laughs> you don't wanna move out the way? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching my channel and listening to me go on and on and on and on and on. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you know, so you can um, stay up to date and listen to my stories because I am really a character. I really am. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. And